Hi, welcome to another video tutorial from Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this sharp infrared distance measurement module. You see the ruler is here and it shows the distance around, as you can see here, 16 centimeter. I'm at 16 centimeter and you can see on the screen it shows 16 centimeter between the distance that I have or if I put my hand it will show a different value. So you can get the code for this module by clicking at the link in the description which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. So I'm now on, on Sharp website. If we scroll down, they have two types, digital output, which we are not using. We are using the analog one. The digital has letter D in between with some numbers which reflects the distance. This is for five centimeter. For example, this is for 10 centimeter. So this zero five after the eight refers to the distance. So that is 10 centimeter. As you can see here, this is 15. Here is the one that we need, the analog one. So this is uh, 1.5 to 15 centimeter. This is two to 15, two to 30. And the one that I'm using is this one. A41SK which measures from 4 to 30 centimeter and also we have higher versions which goes to 1080 to 180 to from 20 to 150 this is the model that if you're looking for and the other one and they're offered a different uh, physical shapes they're all the same except the shape and the model will reflect different uh, type for different applications. Some of them have cables, some of them will be installed on the PCB. So the link for this page will be provided uh, at the link that you follow from the description and also the data sheets will be provided separately so you can download all of those. I'm, this is a data sheet of the module that I'm using. It says 4 to 30 centimeter as you can see here. So you have to understand that this is not precise in terms of millimeter so this is, has some issues with it so the application is for cleaning robots for personal and sanitary so not for precision devices here is the voltage the operating voltage is between 4.5 to 5.5 volts which we're using 5 volts that would be fine and the amount of the current that it dissipates Typical is 12 milliampere and the maximum is 22 milliampere. Uh, of course, this has been measured at the condition that the distance was around 30 centimeter. So this chart is very important. So the module actually outputs the voltage with relation to the distance. As the distance increases, the voltage that outputs will be decreased. So this is the voltage on the y-axis on the x-axis we have the distance in centimeter as you can see at two centimeter it produces 2.2 and here is the maximum is around 3.5 uh, centimeter which will produce around 3 3.01 or something like that so 3 volts and as the distance increases we go to 5 6 and up to this distance let's say for 30 centimeter we get around 0 0.4 volts this shape is not a regular one to do it so that's why the library will be used but if you want to enter this into excel and then find the equation of this plot then you don't need the library and you can calculate it to eliminate the uh, to eliminate the error the author of the code uh, has offered the mean value which means they measure multiple values and then get the mean or average of it So the module is very compact here. The module has transmitter and receiver, infrared transmitter and receiver here, and we have three wires. So the red is connected to five volts, the black is connected to the ground. This yellow is the output, and this is a servo type connection. So you can plug in any male wire here to connect it. So the total length of this is 44.5 millimeter depth of it is 13.3 millimeter and this here we have so many parameters at this uh, this level with a screw sets it's 33.9 millimeter here we have 29.4 millimeter
with the link either you download directly from our website or go to get get up and then when once you are in this page just click here and download zip save it in wherever you want i'm saving it in download here i really have it so once you download it this is a file so right click select the seven zip option or any other tool that you have and extract here so it will create a folder with the same name without the dot zip so here is a it will create a folder like this if i open it you will see all the files are here sharp ir.h so sharp ir.cpp so these are a must with these two other files in order to make it work but once you're done here right click copy it and then go and find your arduino installation folder which would be c program file somewhere in my case it's here so once you go with your or in your arduino you will see a, a directory structure like this go to the library and right click and paste it after that we go to the loop which starts and in here inside the loop this is a delay the author of the code suggests that we should have a value of 2000 milliseconds or two seconds but you can experiment with this depending on your application depending on the type of the module depending on the distance that you use you can change this to see which value is suitable for you so we can reduce the time if you need to measure faster but two seconds is very slow and i'm going to show you that we if we remove this still we can get a pretty precise uh, measurement then here we just uh, get the current time in millisecond and store it in start time this is for calculating the measurement time so you can remove it if you don't need it and then sharp.ir this object that we created object then this is a method that gets the value so this, this whole thing is the distance that we measure but here we don't want to print it we just want to store it in the dis variable as an integer it doesn't have any decimal points so we'll get a fixed four five three or something and then serial print is printing a text here is serial print will print this dis this is printing the distance for us which we need now then we go again get the current time from the time that we started the measurement and from here some time has passed so we subtract the start time which was here so we subtract it and we call that end time and then we'll put this text and then print the end time here on the screen so this way we know how many milliseconds it took to, to do this calculation because the start is here and end is here in between the distance have been measured and then the loop continues like that let's measure seven centimeter so the seven centimeter is exactly seven six is exactly six as you can read so now the code is running as you can see here this is a 22 centimeter i am at 22 centimeter and also on the screen that you see that we are getting 22 centimeter so let's go at 33 this is around seven centimeter error so let's go back to 20 So at 20 we are getting 21 so 20 and below is good let's go 15 so at 15 we are getting 15 as you can see here this is precise at the lower values at the higher value it has some errors but if the error is consistent add some extra factor of addition or, or subtraction from the value so you can get a precise measurement Thank you for watching. This was introduction to the uh, sharp infrared distance measurement module. I have another video using this 1602 display with I2C, which has only four cables. Please thumb up the video. Please share it and also subscribe. I appreciate it.